In today's video, we're gonna try and improve the radiator guard on the CB1000R Plus Edition with this RNG radiator guard. Okay, so on my CB1000R Plus Edition, it has a, a radiator guard. It looks really nice and it has um, nice cutouts that say CB1000R on there. However, the holes are pretty big. They're not really going to stop any little stones that are going to do damage to de the radiator. Only large kind of boulders, really. Um, so what I've done is I've picked up one of these RNG radiator guards. It should be uh, roughly the same size. I can cut to fit a little bit. Um, I didn't realize it was going to say RNG on it. I thought that was just a watermarking on the picture um, but we're going to see what um, it looks like. We're going to take the guard off. I'm hoping it will just kind of slit in there and uh, hold itself and then I'm also going to consider maybe um, spraying this black because I think it might look better contrasted but I'll show you kind of uh, what it looks like, how I think we're going to get this off and uh, yeah then uh, take it from there and let you know what I think. Okay, so this is the radiator guard that's on there. The sand, as you can say, it looks really nice. Um, but as mentioned before, pretty big holes. I think we're going to have to get this off just by undoing these Allen key bolts. And that will um, kind of get us access to the side of the radiator here. And um, then we can do what we need to do. So let me just check what size it is and then we'll be back uh, with information about how we actually get access to this. Okay so in terms of tools we're going to need a 3mm allen key and we'll also need a 5mm allen key once we get this, these sides off. So these two 3mm bolts come out then the top bit here is attached with um, velcro so I'll just show you how that comes off. Okay, so let me just leave this up like so. Again, it's held in with Velcro so see those on the other side, just pop that to one side. And then I believe if we undo these two 5mm bolts, that should give us access to uh, the front radiator. So let's just undo these. Yeah, and that just enables this, these them, um, a little bit of wiggle in them. So I should be able to pull this is apart. Hmm. Something's still holding this back. Let me have a look a little, a little closer. So on the top of this radiator housing is another five mil bolt either side. And when we take that off, then we can just slide this Carefully, all the way out, somehow, maybe. Okay, so just pulled it forward enough that basically you can get to the back of it underneath so you can put um, the radiator guard and just slide it uh, up in here. Just measured it and it's 42 centimeters wide and the RNG one is about 44 and a half centimeters wide. So I am going to need to cut it down. Um, but what I'm going to try and do is just kind of, kind of slide it up in there enough that I can see if I like it in silver or if I think it looked better if I sprayed it black. So let me see if I can do that. And then uh, I'll also measure the height, see what distance there is there. Um, and then we'll see uh, roughly what it's going to look like. Okay, so there it is. Uh, I don't think it looks too bad actually, um, but I think it would look more standard if it was black. So I'm going to spray it black 
I'm also going to need to cut it down um, because it's about. I'm trying to get this out now without me scratching the pipe. Um, yeah, just looking at the height of it. Caught up. It's not good. Yeah, so the height of it is about 30 centimeters, and the height of the guard here is 24. So I need to reduce the width by a centimeter and the height by about six centimeters. So I'm going to cut it, spray it black. Um, leave that for a few hours to dry and then uh, come back and see how we can kind of get it to stay in place. I'm hoping it will stay in place just by push fit. Uh, there are some bits of rubber uh, on the back here. I guess stops the uh, radiator from being damaged. So we need to see what we can do about that as well. Okay, so it's not finished. I just, what I have finished doing is cutting it all to size though. So you can see what it looks like in silver, not too bad. Um, I am going to spray it black and have a go at putting a Honda logo in the middle as well. So we'll see how that turns out. But let me um, just take it out so I can show you the dimensions and kind of what the end cut looks like and why I've done it this way. Okay, so here it is cut down. Um, so it's 42 and a half centimeters wide by 23 centimeters high with um, some 45 degree um, cutoffs on either side there at the bottom. And this is basically because the way that the, um, the guard on the CB1000R is already, it has his little kind of cutoff. So this makes it fit exactly into place. As you can see, the RNG um, logo on here, we flip it back to the other side, there's no logo. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get, uh, print myself a, Honda logo here when I spray it. So it'll all be black, but with a silver Honda logo in the middle is the idea. So I'm gonna have a go at that and then we'll come back once this is dried. And in the meantime, just see if there's something I can get that's gonna help it kind of not rub on the radiator itself. Okay, so I've just finished. Um, it's all kind of dried up. On the one hand side, you can see a little bit of black that's kind of come through, just a bit of blowback from the wind um, but in, in many ways the, the one side of RNG is still the same. I've glued um, some thin bits of rubber onto the back here so when it's pushing against um, the radiator hopefully it's not going to scratch it but on the other side here you can see that's all nicely sprayed black now so I'm just going to try and put it in. I did try and do a Honda logo in the middle. I think the problem was I tried to do a Honda logo that was too small it was just kind of about this size and really probably needed a bigger one to be able to stand out because Basically, you just couldn't tell um, that there was a Honda logo there, so I decided to just spray over the top of it. So the glue's all dried, pretty much, uh, and the rubber's in place. So I'm just going to hopefully get to push this up in front of the radiator, clamp things back down, and then hopefully we'll see what the finished article looks like. But I think it's quite good. You still have RNG on the one side if you wanted it to, or the black on the other, like I've done there. You can just I see it changing. So I'm um, gonna finish putting it all back together and then let you know what it looks like. Okay, so back with another slight update. So I went to kind of install everything back together um, and it was a bit tight to get the um, guard clamped in. Basically it was too wide. So I've taken another three centimeters off uh, each of the ends um, because it should then sit kind of flush with the current radiator guard as opposed to consuming the whole radiator which is kind of causing some problems where it squishes together uh, and then what I need to do is obviously just then see how that's going to hold into place and I may just put a uh, little black cable tie at the top or something out of the site uh, of main viewing just to kind of make sure it's not going to drop down but um, let me offer it up again and then I'll let you guys know hopefully again what it looks like and uh, give you some feedback on that refitting install process. Okay so just finished up uh, now I'm going to take the bike for a ride. I thought I'd show you kind of what it looks like at the end so you can uh, see. So I've moved the bike outside in the sun so we can get a better view. Okay, so here it is. So hopefully you can't really tell any difference at all. Um, so it should just look very similar to what it did. But obviously now you can't put your finger all the way through because there is 
some mesh there. So the only thing that may happen is, if you listen, you see there's a bit of movement, two metal pieces coming in contact with each other. Um, but I've put a couple of little um, cable ties at the top to hold it into place. But um, yeah, I'm confident it's gonna provide more protection to the radiator than just those big holes. Um, and it still looks quite standard, so much better than the silver. So a longish video, but um, hopefully that helps anyone that's thinking about adding some mesh to their CB1000R Plus Edition radiator guard. Okay, apologies. I'm recording this last bit on my iPhone because the battery on the camera has run out. So I've been for a test ride. Everything was absolutely fine. I did notice that um, I hadn't quite got things lined up uh, inside the guard itself. It was a little bit over on the one side. But then I've, what I've decided is I would like to secure it better. So I managed to take the whole guard off, just needs a little bit of flexing at the top, but make sure you don't snap it as you kind of pull it down past the wheel. Um, and I've just put a couple of different color cable ties on to see which I think um, is the least noticeable. I think I'm gonna go with the white ones. Um, but so let me just move this out of the way and I can show you what it is that I've done here. So I've now put rubber on both sides. So you can see rubber on both sides. I, it's really still nowhere near the radiator, but I wanted to make sure that if somehow it flexed or moved, there would be um, some rubber. But then the rubber on this side just helps it when it's pushed up against the metal of the grill. It means it doesn't move around as much. So. Let me just uh, pop this onto one side and show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So this is how it's going to look. This is the guard that you have on the plus. Obviously it's not going to sit quite flush because I've got those in there at the moment. But basically, slot that in there. Like that. And you can see it's going to fit a lot flusher and with the rubber on it just means that it's going to be much harder for this to move about and then I just need to cable tie, I am going to cable tie I've decided uh, in the corners, either all four corners or maybe there's two at the top here and two in each corner down the bottom, whatever I think is going to look um, this conspicuous. I've got a picture uh, at the end where I've cable tied it but um, yeah. I think it's gonna look pretty good. Okay, so this is the end result. I decided to go with the black cable ties and I've just secured it in these four areas here. It really reduces um, any kind of movement of the mesh. And most importantly, I know it's just not gonna fly out of the bike for some reason and uh, cause me to have an accident and also damage the bike. So I'll show you what it looks like from the other side. I felt the black looked better than the clear in the end, which is why I've gone with that. And I think, yes, of course, if you look, you can kind of see the mountings, but I think better to be safe than sorry. And uh, I don't think it's super noticeable, but uh, I think the end result is much better and a protected radiator guard. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.